Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And today is, I don't know what we call it, Color Monday. Once a month, I'm going to pick a color combo and then just play with it and see what comes out of it. This month, it, for March, it is blue and yellow. I think I needed something bright because March, March is supposed to come in like a lion and go out like a lamb. Well, this year in the Finger Lakes, it's done just the opposite. We had 70 and 65 degree weather at the beginning of the month. Today, it's in the low 20s and there are several inches of snow on the ground. It looks more like Christmas out my window than it does March. So a good day to be inside and working with something bright. So I, to that end, I have pulled out a whole bunch of scrap papers that are blue and yellow. And I have a whole pile of them here. I'm going to just kind of shove those off to the side at the moment because we're going to work with them. I have a couple of blue and yellow thingies here and I have some stickers. I got some blue and yellow washi, some blue and yellow um, ribbon and laces. And we're going to see where we end up. Oh, and I also have, I have been playing around with my big shot trying to get it that's yeah well that is but I don't know if that's so much the blue that I want today but uh, and that one didn't come out very well because I was playing with it I bought two Stampin Up embossing folders actually I bought three of them one of them works just fine with the sandwich that is recommended for the big shot it works just fine the other two are way too thick and I didn't want to break my big shot so I asked at my Stampin Up class yesterday what to do and somebody suggested taking folded pages of a catalog and sticking them underneath until you find the right thickness so i did that and so as a result this this one works just fine but this one which is i don't know if you can see it i'll hold it up it looks like a brick wall that one it finally came out and then this is a little bit of blue. It's a really cool kind of wallpapery design. Um, I didn't quite have the sandwich right with that, but I did for this one. So anyway, if you have a big shot, just play around with it. I'm still learning on it. All right, so let's get playing. So I have a couple of different cards. I think I want to start with something bright. Where is something bright? That's a little bit too big. Oh, that's a good size. So we have something bright. Um, I also have this, which is uh, really thin. Oh, it's, look at that. Got some sparkle stuffy in there. Okay. So let's go with some bright. I've got some gingham. Uh, I think what I'm just going to do today is make some journal cards. Because I have so many... I want to do a blue and white, or sorry, blue and yellow. Oh, I like this better. Let's do this one instead. I like that. It's got some texture to it. This was out of a paper pack that I think I got at the dollar store. Um, I want something kind of, most of my blues are kind of dark. And I don't want dark. Oh, there we go. Look at these. I have, oh, that doesn't belong in there. That's pink. You know, fool of me. I would make a nice little tuck spot on there. Do I want that? Hang on. I have all these papers and I don't know what. I haven't pulled them all out yet to really look at them. I think I like it better. Oh, no, that's way too bright. Ooh, that hurts my eyes. Hurts my eyes. I mean, I like it, but it's... Now with this particular piece, it's too much brightness. Okay, so we have a little bit of that. I could stick a little bit of this down there. Okay, let's go ahead and I have rearranged my desk. I got some new shelves yesterday. So everything's been rearranged, which means I don't know where anything is right now. I have to look around for it to find it. I'm sorry for my reach. Obviously, I'm in a yellow mood today because I'm wearing a yellow sweatshirt. And yes, for the record, this is a Tweety 
make sure I get that going the right way. This uh, has Tweety on the front of it. It's not that I so much love Tweety. It's that we had gone to Darien Lake. This is years and years and years ago. Um, sorry, my Fabri-Tex seems to be clogged up a little bit. There it goes. We had gone to Darien Lake and the kids were little. And of course, one of the last things that we did in the in at Darien Lake was to go on, I was it Grizzly Run, I think is the name of it. It's a water ride and you get wet. There's not much choice. You're going to get wet. Well, I got so soaked and I had no change of clothes and the temperature started to drop. I was freezing. I said, I have to change my clothes. I have to get into something a little bit uh, less wet. I like that better. So I went and I bought Tweety. And I have worn Tweety ever since. For the record, we had a grand time. Although my husband and I went by ourselves um, this past year. It's a little bit too big. I want that just a little bit off. Take off just a hair. We went by ourselves for the first time ever. I don't think we've been to a, a an amusement park without children Oh my glory, since our honeymoon. And that was coming up on 43 years ago. Yeah, I've been married to him for a long time. It's okay, I like him. I want to keep him. Anyway, it was weird to go to the amusement park without children. The nice thing about this is that it has lines on it so I can kind of line it up. There we go. So now I have a little pocket here. Oh dear, I just got this stuff on. I got a little pocket here and a bigger pocket here. I like to just pick colors and play with them and see what comes out of it. Um, you never know. And... Let me grab a flower. I think it needs a flower right up here. Let me grab my flowers. Or maybe it needs a butterfly. So there's my flowers. Um, there's my big butterflies. I don't want my butterfly stamps. Okay, maybe it doesn't. There we go. We'll use this set of butterflies. There. There. Because spring means butterflies. We have seen a female cardinal. I've seen several robins. The robins have come back, which is really nice. Okay, do I want something like that? Okay, I like this. It's a little pink. I know, you got to mess up the colors sometimes. You know, just play around with them, see what you come up with. With all these butterfly stamps I, don't, I was kind of looking for something that might have a blue butterfly on it but i don't seem to have a blue butterfly oh, wait 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 there's a blue butterfly but he might not fit on here he's a little too fancy for the gingham i think little too fancy for the gingham oh there's a blue butterfly there i'm gonna take you guys off and put you down here. It's just a matter of going through your stuff. So I hope you're crafting with me today because this is just kind of fun. Just grab, if you haven't yet started, pause the video, go ahead and, that one's empty, uh, go ahead and find all of your blues and yellows, pull them out, make a mess on your desk, and let's just craft together. That one's also empty. Why are all of these empty? There we go. Because sometimes it's just fun to put on a video in the background and craft with somebody. Okay. 
those were too stuck together. I don't necessarily want this one. I'm going to let that sit over to the side and dry. No mistakes, only opportunities. So now I have an opportunity to use that one later. Because I really like this one. So this will make a really nice pocket that I can put into a journal. And I can make, I don't know that I want to put anything on here. Because if I want to put a journal card in there. And I have a decorated journal card. You know, I think that'll be. So I think I might just leave that one the way it is at the moment. And then once it goes into a, a journal, and goes on a page, I can put a tab up here or I can put a tab here and I can make another place to put things in and put things in here. All right, one done. Set that up there. That's kind of fun. And just, like I said, we're just playing. Okay, this one is mostly dry. We're gonna set you over to the side and set you off to the side and let's go with something else. So what else do we have here? We have this really pretty marbly stuff. I think I'm kind of in the gingham mood. So let's stick with gingham. I don't have any yellow gingham, interestingly enough. I only have blue gingham. I should make a yellow gingham. Okay, I have, this is a little bit wide. So I'm going to cut it down. It is five and a half, so let's go two, or five inches, so let's go two and a half. I'm already doing the math in my head. And there goes the glue on the floor. All right, so this one, I have these really cool, this is... Uh, activity pad, 30 sheets, but it's, it doesn't say, I don't say who it's by. Um, imported. No, it doesn't say who, who it's actually by, but it's all of these denim pieces. So let's grab a piece of denim. There's only two or three designs in it. It's not fancy. And I think I got it from, it was 99 cents. So I don't even know where it came from, but for 99 cents, what do you expect? You know, this might make a cool um, notebook. I'll make a little notebook to go into something. Put some lined paper in there. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side. Focus, focus. We are not focused. Okay, let me grab some of this now that's a little bit bright i'm just going to take a piece off of it um i'm sorry if i'm not in camera but i'm just cutting just cutting myself a slice off the bottom and i think i just want a piece about that big I think I need to change my blade out. It's starting to fuzz. Okay, now for this, I am going to go ahead and color the edges. I didn't on the other one because I wanted it to stay bright and springy. But this one, I think I want to bring down just a little bit. In fact, let me grab my thing. I'm going to go right over the top of it with a little bit of... There. Okay, now let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that brings it down just enough so that it's not ah in your face. I watch uh, Tony from Lalita, Lalito Loca. I always have to think how to say that. He is, he reports on cruise news from around the world things that are going on in, in cruising and i love listening to him so shout out tony he'll know what that means 
Not that he watches my channel. I don't know that he's all that interested in crafting. There we go. What I like about tissue paper is that it always dresses things up. Sorry, hang on, gotta reach for my glue that I dropped. It dresses things up just a little bit, changes the how things look. Open that up, that's folded over. There we go. So this is always just a fun thing to add to your stash. And I, you don't have to, if you exchange gifts with people and there's tissue paper in it, just use the tissue paper from that. That's where this all came from. Believe me, I do not pay for my tissue paper. I don't go out to the dollar store even and say, oh, that's pretty tissue paper. I'm going to buy that. I don't do that. If I don't have it, I don't use it. Um, I have a couple of pieces of tissue paper that look like they're brand new, but they came in, again, thrift store finds. They were part of a thrift store thing. So if you have a thrift store near you, um, Salvation Army, Goodwill. Uh, I know that Goodwill has gotten a little bit expensive, but I don't really mind so much. You know, I think I'm going to make two of these at the same time. I know they're ident they'll be close to identical, but that's okay with me because they probably won't end up going into the same journal. Mass make, mass make. Um, Seven Plaza is doing Mass Make March, and she's got some really cool ideas. If you haven't been over to see her channel in a while, you probably should. She's got some really neat things going on over there. Okay, where'd my strip go? I've got one right here. Oh, just take that off. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make it, distress it just a little bit. I left this little piece on the bottom down here because I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll figure it out. I want the size. I don't want it to be too small. Actually, maybe we'll do it this way and go ahead and cut that off. I know my, I, all you're seeing is my bright yellow Tweety. Always close up your inks. If you're working with it. Now this is, this stamp doesn't say anything. Hmm. It's a little bit more space there than. That's all right. We'll go for it. We'll figure out what to put there. Now this was a an embossing stamp. I don't remember where. It, I think I picked this up from Stampin' Up, but it might not be. I don't remember. I didn't get any glue up here in the corner. The key is to just play. So I hope you have your blues and your yellows out at this point and are just playing along with me just to see what will happen, what we create. If you have a YouTube channel, please make sure you put the link in the comments so that we can see and you have recorded what you've done. Do that. If you have a place where you are posting the pictures, um, you can always go to my website or my website, my Facebook page and um I will put a post up about the about this. Make sure you put pictures in there. Have a good time. Okay, let's grab some washi here. We need to do something with the washi. So this is some washi I just got. I haven't even started it yet. And I liked the fact that there was a yellow tab right there on the front. So let's, I keep putting my glue thing away, but I really probably should just keep it out here.
I'm just putting a little glue. If I'm off camera, I'm just putting a little glue on my label. Just to make sure it sticks. This is a black label. That's a green label. There's another yellow label. I really want the yellow label. Okay, I'll figure out what to do with you in a minute. Okay, you're done. We'll put you aside. Sorry, I didn't mean to go quiet on you. I got to thinking. Okay. All right. I think I'm just going to take this and put you right back on here. I think I can do that. Yeah, more or less. I do have, I just don't know where they are at the moment. Um, I save, I use a lot of this kind of tape, scotch tape in a roller in a container, you know, this kind. That's a very, very old, very heavy, very heavy scotch tape dispenser. But it was my mom's. It was on her desk. I have no idea where she got it from. But anyway, I use a lot of those rolls for extra tape. Okay, I like that. Now we need a big... Let's find our butterflies. Our big old butterflies. The butterflies are from Current. They are um, stickers. They do have white around them. That's the only thing I don't like about it is that they do have white. I could, I suppose, take some time and really like this one. I, I like the big one, but it's too big for this. But I, this one is made up of flowers. Now what I can do, my glory, I am dropping everything today. I, like I said, I moved some things around and now everything is dropping. There we go. We'll just bring that white down a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I didn't add any extra glue to the back of this because it is, uh, they're, they're good stickers. Now, I think what I'd like to do Hang on, I gotta find it. There it is. Sorry. Is turn this into a ticket. I don't have a quarter rounder that does the reverse. I know that um, Creative Memories makes one. I'm sure there are other places that make it. I don't happen to have one. So there. Now I have something to go into my pocket if I wanted to. All right, let's finish you guys, you off. Um, different, something different. I know you're probably yelling. Oh, here, this one's kind of got some blue on it. It's blue and green. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's put you down here, which means you're gonna need something up to the top. That's just, I don't know if you can tell that it's come, the color is coming down on here, but it is, it's, it's taking it down to it's not so in your face white. Okay, let's put those over there. You need a number. You definitely need a number up there. Did the other one need a number? Let's pull it back out. It needs a number down here. All right, so we have numbers. I have, you know, the numbers that I have, I like the orange tip with that one. Oh yeah, there we go. That was quick. Don't you love it when that happens? You look and there it is. There we go, that adds into down there. And then you need something up there. I have, this is off of coffee dyed paper. 
might be a little bit big. And that's just a number seven. I kind of like that, but let's bring that down just a little bit. Too much space. Paper, some paper, not all paper, but a lot, most paper has a nap to it, a bias. And so you've got to uh, make sure you're tearing carefully. There. A little bit of a number. Just something to add to it. Cool. So now we have a pocket. Now I didn't do anything with those corners. Do I want to turn that into a ticket too? Let me put the top on here. By the way, I don't know if this is a problem for you. I, if I keep this up on here, you see that little foot down there? You see the top of this? Do you have any idea how many times I grabbed that foot thinking it was the top of my glue? Oh my glory. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, except that I lost it. Where on earth did I put it? Well, we'll find it later. We'll do it later. So right now we'll just stick the head, those two in the pocket. Cool. Um, I'm just looking to see. I think we will. I, I'm going to keep playing. I've got all these colors out. I'm going to keep playing. You go ahead and keep playing. It's been I've been talking here for 25 minutes. We've made three different things. In the meantime, I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like it because YouTube likes it when you like it. Um, there it is. Ha! I knew I was still looking around while I was talking to you. And so I can still turn that into a ticket. Quick and easy way. If... By the way, I have seen these at craft stores and they're like four or five dollars. Don't do that. Go to Walmart or go to some cheap store and just pick yourself up a, a little one. They're not that expensive. They're like a buck and a half or two dollars. They're a lot cheaper at those stores because they just are. I don't need, think you need to pay craft prices for these. All right. Have a great day. Click the notification bell if you want to know when the next video I am doing is coming out. Um, I may have one for Wednesday. I'm not sure yet. I'm really trying to get that journal finished. So click the notification bell. And if I get one out for walkthrough Wednesday, uh, you'll know about it. In the meantime, have a great week. And this is Cindy signing off.